morning and welcome to this surface. This is the first surface of this month and we want to thank God for giving us opportunity to worship Him. Throughout this month we'll be learning about miracles of Jesus. As you know, last month we learned about children of integrity. So this month we'll be learning about miracles of Jesus. And the first miracle that we want to learn is about uh, Bart Myers, Blight Bart Myers. And now, today, I'm joined by Abby. How are you, Abby? Yes, I am quite well. Yes, now I want you to tell me, have you ever seen a blind person? Yes. Now, I want you to briefly tell us uh, what you know about blind person, their life, is their life smooth as ours, or just something? Okay, to me, I think that the life of a blind person is not that easy because they cannot be able to see that clearly. So they might bump into things on the way of doing something. Mm -hmm. Now, assume this blind person have no helper. This makes the life of the blind person more difficult. Yes, it does. Good. Now, today we are going to learn about such a person who was blind. Actually, he had no helper, and his name was uh, Blight Bart Myers. And I want you to join me as we go and listen to the lesson which will be brought to us by Teacher Shadrach. You are welcome. Thank you so much, Teacher Charles, for that beautiful introduction. Friends, let's begin our service this morning with a word of prayer. So uh, wherever you are, you can call mommy, you can call daddy, come sit together with your siblings as we start this particular lesson together. So let us pray. Our Father and our God, we come before your presence at such a time as this. We ask, O oh, Heavenly Father, as we break bread and as we share your word, that Lord, you'll come and open our innermost eyes, that Jesus Christ would grant us your favor. Come speak to us in a special way. Come, Lord, and be glorified. For this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So create some space. Get a space for yourself and make sure you're not close to your daddy, mommy, or your sister as we go and sing. We're going to sing. We're going to go back in time, come back, and, and just have a wonderful time before God. So are we ready? Teacher Paminas, are we ready? Ah, good. All right. Wamilele, wamilele, mungu wa baraka ni Yesu. Wamilele, wamilele, mungu wa baraka ni Yesu. Anasumbukia maisha yetu Anasumbukia maisha yetu Anasumbukia maisha yetu Yesu ni wangu wa uzima wa milele Oh yes, ni wangu wa uzima wa milele 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 Cast your burdens unto Jesus, for He cares for you. Cast ya higher, ha, higher, 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 higher. Lift Jesus higher, 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 higher. Lift Jesus higher, 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 higher. Higher, higher, lift Jesus higher. Higher, 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 
higher, higher, lift Jesus higher. Wow. I believe we had a good time before the presence of the Lord. So, friends, today we are going to start a new series. In this month, we will be looking at the miracles of Jesus. Now, John chapter 21, verse 25 tells us that there were so many miracles that, were, that Jesus performed, but only 37. 37 of them are the only ones that were recorded in the gospel. So we are going to sample some of this during this month. So to kick us off, the big question that we need to answer is, what is a miracle? What is a miracle? Yes, and from my definition, a miracle is something that is unusual, something that is amazing, an event that uh, is wonderful and can only happen by the power of God. So the other question that we also need to answer is, why did Jesus perform miracles during his time? The first one was to show that he was God and that he cares for us and that he loves us. The second reason why uh, Jesus used miracles was to prove that he was God to the people of that time so that many may put his, uh, their faith in him. Remember, before Jesus came, prophets used to communicate what God has in store for us. But for almost 400 to 500 years after the last prophet, who I believe should be Malachi, between Malachi and the time Jesus came into the picture, there were no prophets, there were no miracles. So generations had gone by and all they had were stories of what God could do. So when Jesus came, he had to prove that he's from God and that he is God. So miracles was, was one of the ways he used to tell people that he was God. Thirdly, he needed people to come closer to him so that he can give them the good news of salvation and teach to them and tell them about the kingdom of God. So by using miracles, he drew people closer to him. And from this, he was able to pass the message of salvation to the different people. And this caused so many people to glorify God. So today, we are going to sample one miracle that Jesus did. And this he did while he was almost getting out of Jericho. And this story, friends, is the story of blind Bartimaeus. So you can turn your Bibles to the book of Luke, chapter 18, from verse 35 to 43. Luke, chapter 18, from verse 35 to 43. And there we get a story. Just when Jesus was about to leave this town called Jericho, a large crowd was following him. And, and they were murmuring and they were talking and they were trying to explain to each other the last thing that Jesus had taught them. And along this particular path was a blind man, a blind person who couldn't see. Blind people don't see. And, and their world is just dark, just like when you close your eyes. So he had the people move. He could feel people were murmuring. He could hear that but he didn't know what exactly was going on. So he reached out his hand and grabbed one man and asked him, what's going on? And the man told him, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. Now, for sure I know. But Emmaus could have heard about Jesus and he knew what Jesus could do for him. So in a loud voice, he started shouting, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. He listened to, to hear whether there was a reply, and there was no reply. So he shouted the louder, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And the people around him were kept saying, you know what? You're wasting your time. He can't hear you. There are so many people, so shut up. Don't make any more noise. But he cried even louder, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And at that particular point, Jesus had his cry. And he stopped, turned back, and asked the people to bring uh, blind Bartimaeus to him. And when he came before Jesus, Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? And without hesitation, without missing a beat, without thinking twice, he said, I want to see again. 
And at that particular point in time, Jesus told him, go, your faith has healed you. And at that particular instance, his eyes were open and he could see again and he followed Jesus. Well, friends, this story is interesting because of so many things. The first one is, at any given point in our life, we are blind. We are handicapped in one way or the other. Either we get anxious because of the thunder that is outside. Either we are anxious because of this disease that is moving around and we are scared about it. Maybe it's the things that we need in our life. Maybe it's food that we need on the table, provisions that we need on the table. At any given one time, we are having a handicap. And that is our blindness. But the Bible is very clear that if we cry out to God, if we cry out to him, he will stop and ask us, what can I do for you? What can I do for you? I don't know what is uh, what, why you are anxious. I don't know why. I don't know what's bothering you. I don't know what you're going through. But one thing I know for sure, that if you cry out to God, he will stop and ask the same question he asked blind Bartimaeus. What can I do for you, my son? I'd like to give you a challenge and some bit of homework. I'd like for you to go through the Bible in the Old Testament and find out how many people cried out to God, and what did God do? I'll give you two instances where uh, people cried out to God, and God came through for them. The first one was the Assyrians. There's a prophet called Jonah. Jonah was asked to go to Nineveh to preach to the people. These people were not even Israelites. They were not even God's people, and they were bad to the Israelites, but God asked Jonah to go and preach to them. And when he went there and told them the good news or what God intends to do, they cried out to God for mercy. And you know what? God pardoned them. God heard their cry, and he didn't destroy their town. The second instance where somebody cried out to God. You remember Ishmael, Abraham's other son? You remember that story? Well, at one point, Hagar and Ishmael were in the desert. They didn't have anything. They didn't have any provisions. And the baby Ishmael was crying and was crying so hard. Remember, Ishmael was not the promised son. Isaac was. But while Ishmael was crying, God had his cry. And he came through and gave the provisions that they needed. So I am convinced that even today, Jesus is able to come through if you cry out to him. So don't hold back. Whatever you are going through, if it's anxiety about exams, if it's provisions that you need, cry out to God and he will come through. So the question that we need to answer is, how do we cry to God? How do we do it? Simple, through prayer. Blind Bartimaeus shouted the louder. He shouted and shouted until he got, he got God's um, attention. For us, we can go down on our knees and pray to God in earnest, in spirit and in truth, and God will come through for us. So ladies and gentlemen, friends, be sure that God will hear your cry. When you go through him, through Jesus' name, in prayer and supplication, he's going to answer you and he'll come through for you. So let's take a moment to hear today's memory verse, which is taken from the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, from verse 6 to 7. And this will be done by my very able friend, Abijoy Simon. Hi, my name is Abigail. I'm nine years old and I'm going to present a memory verse. First Peter chapter 5 verse 6 to 7 and it says, Humble yourself, then under God's mighty hand he will lift you up in his own good time. Leave all your worries with him because he cares for you. And now I have a presentation. 
Thank you very much, Abijoy Simon, for that memory verse and for the beautiful presentation. Friends, till next time, this is Teacher Shadrach saying adios and God bless. <laughs>